Is the United Service Organization, or the USO, has been entertaining service members deployed all across the world. And this year we actually sent our producer Paul Harris on the holiday tour as it kicks off in Norway in this Serving Those Who Serve report. In this quiet little town near the Arctic Circle in Norway, things got loud. <laughs> Norway is the first stop on the USO holiday tour, sponsored by the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Joseph Dumford. I'm not proud uh, to be a general. I'm proud to wear this uniform because people like you wear this uniform. That's what made me proud today. Ah. Celebrities on tour include Kelly Pickler, Wilmer Valderrama, and Sean White. You know, it's it's incredible. Um, you know, for me in my life, every every Olympics that rolls around, I get the privilege of representing America in front of the world. And these brave men and women do it every single day. And so for me to come up on stage and kind of receive the same sort of uh, vibe and applause and excitement from them that I'm, I'm here for, obviously, it's, it's incredible. Marines from the 3rd Battalion, 8th Marine Regiment are deployed this far north to train with the Norwegians and teach each other tactics for harsh conditions. Leaders include Longmont native Lieutenant Marcus Lively, who is glad the USO came out to the Arctic Circle. I think having these people here for the USO tour, it builds that moral ground that all the Marines can connect, they can stay positive, stay motivated uh, throughout this deployment. This is only the first country in a five country tour. We still have a lot more service members to entertain across Europe and the Middle East. You can watch the highlights all week long, right here and online. On special assignment in Norway, Paul Harris, Fox 31 Denver. Yeah, some amazing so cool. stories there. Yeah, I'd love to see one of our producers a veteran. So mm -hmm. yeah, we believe in this service. Out there reporting for us. Yeah, that's proof. Santa and Mrs. Claus.